हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू इलेक्ट्रिकल डिजाइन इंजीनियरिंग यूट्यूब चैनल टुडे इज आवर लेक्चर नंबर सेकंड ऑफ आवर फ्री कोर्स ऑन डिजाइन ऑफ ट्रांसमिशन लाइन एंड डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन लाइन यू हैव टू पे नथिंग फॉर दिस कोर्स यू हैव टू ऑनली सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल लाइक एंड शेयर वीडियोज ऑन यूर सोशल प्रोफाइल द वाट्सअप लिंक एंड टेलीग्राम लिंक इज गिवन इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बाय क्लिकिंग ऑन दीज लिंक्स you can join our groups if you have any question related to the lecture you can ask it in the comment section in the previous lecture we have studied letter of intent bill of quantity and estimation difference between boq and estimation today we will study the survey of power lines what are the important points to be kept in mind during survey of transmission lines and distribution lines before starting the lecture our two subscribers have asked questions this is the question number first good explanation sir it is helpful in my career growth if possible then please sir explain with exam and question number second good morning sir when aloe is given the subscriber wants us to know when the letter of intent is given these are the two questions which our subscribers have asked first we will answer this question suppose we will take an example suppose i have to buy three number of lighting resistors for aluminum kv line and we have to prepare estimate for that then we will prepare like this Serial number first description of item supply and installation of lighting arrested for 11 kV line. No specification is mentioned here. No voltage rating is mentioned here. No current rating is mentioned here. Specifications are not mentioned here. Then UM that is unit of measurement is numbers. Quantity is three. Rate is 4,231 per unit. The total amount is 12,693. This is the format of estimate. We have to convert same estimate into the BOQ. Now we have to prepare BOQ for this lighting resistor. Then we will prepare BOQ like this: supply and installation of 11 kV gapless serial resistor, 9 kV, 10 kilo amperes, MCOV, 7.6 kV, LA with polymer housing station type. here we have mentioned all the specification all the ratings of the lighting resistor which we need this is the main difference between estimation and boq after that uam is same number quantity is 3 same quantity rate you can observe here there is a difference in rate the rate in the estimation is 4231 but the rate here is 3127 that means rate in the boq is uh, little bit less than the estimation i always advise you when you prepare the estimate keep your rate little bit high that actual rate after that the total amount becomes 9382 now how we decide the rate of the item every state has a department which decides the rate of items if in our state that is the jnk jammu and kashmir the rate list for rural electrification is issued by the kpdcl that is kashmir power distribution corporation i will show this rate list to you this is the rate list of the kpdcl you can see here the rate of every item is mentioned in this rate list if we have to find the rate list of the 9 kV LA that is lighting resistor of LA for 11 kV line. This is the this is the rate of the 9 kV LA or 11 kV LA. Unit of measurement is set. Three LA is makes make one set. The three LA is the rate is mentioned here 5890. This is the three LA is. If we divide it into three, it becomes. Three thousand something, which I have already shown you, three thousand one hundred twenty-seven. But this rate is the cost of the material. Now we have to perform the rate analysis. 
and find the actual rate for supply and installation. Let the rate analysis is here. The cost of material is 5890, that is the rate mentioned in the rate list. After that, we add GST on the material, then we add labor charges for installation, then we add GST on labor charges, overhead charges, uh, contractor's profit. The whole thing becomes the complete rate of an item for supply and installation. Now, if you have to upload a tender, you have to issue a tender for that item. Then you have to convert the BOQ you have prepared into a tender format. The tender format BOQ is like this. This is the tender format BOQ. Here it is written percentage BOQ because tenders are different times. Item wise tender, percentage tender. Here the tender is percentage tender. You can see this is the tender format BOQ. You have to prepare this and then upload in your a tender portal of your state or a country. Now we will take the second question. The second question is when LOI is given. Now you have uploaded a tender on the e-portal. Suppose three contractors participate in the bidding process. Let the contractors are A, B and C. After that, we will perform the technical evaluation of these contractors. Suppose in the technical evaluation, all the contractors are qualified. Contra contractor A has qualified, contractor B has qualified and contractor C has qualified. In a technical evaluation, we can check the documents of a contractor. We can check his, his license, we can check his GST number, we can check his PAN number, we can check his previous work. All these things are checked in the technical evaluation. After the technical evaluation, suppose all the three contractors A, B, C have qualified. Now we will go for the financial evaluation. In the financial evaluation, we will mainly see which contractor has placed the lowest bid. Suppose the contractor B has placed the lowest bid, so the software automatically assigns him L1. That is the lowest, he has quoted the lowest rate for the contract. Now we can show him the letter of intent. Letter of intent contains mainly the main terms of the con uh, contract and also directs the contractor to submit the acceptance letter based on these uh, terms and conditions of the contract. I think both the questions are answered successfully and beautifully. Now we will go for the today's talk. Today's topic is survey of transmission lines and distribution lines. First of all, we will see what is survey. Survey refers to gather essential information about the route of transmission line or distribution line. The information needed to gather can be divided into three categories. First is technical details, second is route details, and third is geotechnical details. Now, first of all, we will see that what are the technical details we have to gather during survey. Capacity voltage level of the receiving station or a grid station from which the line is emerged or had to energize. We have to note down the capacity and voltage level of the receiving station from which the distribution line or a transmission line has been emerged or from which it has been energized. Name and details of the circuit breaker connected to the line. We have to note down also the name and details of the circuit breaker which to which the line is connected. Third percentage impedance and rating of power transfer from which the line is energized. Connected peak load on the line. We have to also found what is the connected load on the line, what is the peak load on the line. This can be obtained from your energy department from your power department. Other grid stations, receiving stations, distribution transformers connected to the line or have to connect to the line. You have to note down all these things. What are the other receiving stations connected to this line? What are the other receiving stations or distribution transformers which come to in future to connect to the, uh, this line? 
consumer list with their sanctional loads and distribution plans for you have to note down also the what are the consumer list what are the consumers which are fed from these uh, this line and what are the distribution plan versus uh, transformers related to this consumers size and condition of the existing transmission and distribution line what is the size of the conductor of the existing transmission line what is the condition whether it is it needs a replacement or not route details route length should be a short as possible long route should be avoided route should have minimum number of crossings railway crossings river crossings angle deviations and forest areas try to avoid security areas national parks wildlife sanctuary historical monuments if these areas are coming in your uh, route try to avoid these areas try to avoid religious places and buildings approach to the line for execution and operation and maintenance should be easy you have to select such a route for which the execution and operation and maintenance of the line should be easily approachable the route should be approachable easily try to avoiding agriculture lands because in agriculture lands we have to pay to the landlord this increases the cost of the project then geotechnical details this involves assessment of the soil and geological conditions along the proposed route of the transmission line it involves determining type of soil that what type of soil you have sand silt clay soil bearing capacity permeability of the soil how easily water can pass through the soil seismic activity of the region slope stability corrosive property of the soil all these things i have to you have to note down all these things